Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mario here from Lil Ladies Up Against a Baby Carrots and Straw Hat Gang. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's jump into the siege. For the first attack, we're going to come into this Clara, Theo, Savannah with Feng Yen, Aaliyah, and Leo. This has been a really solid counter for this defense. I even went ahead to re rune one of my Feng Yans specifically for Leo. So you'll probably see that one in the next video. We don't get the pushback on the Clara, but she did derp, and we're going to go ahead and put the skill 2 up. Just in case the Savannah uses the skill 2. She's going to go for the skill 2. Defense breaks the Leo. We get a counter. Skill 2 coming out onto the Leo. Thankfully he's tanking it. Now we're going to go ahead and put the immunity up and work onto the Clara. We're going to try to kill her before she uses the skill 3. We don't want her to strip us. We get the defense break. We're not going to be able to kill her. She uses the skill 3 and we get stunned up unfortunately. We do have the skill 4. We're going to put it up. And we should be fine for now. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and focus either the Theo or Savannah. Whichever one we can get a defense break on. We're going to go for the Savannah first. We don't want that AoE defense break coming out again. We dismount her and we should be able to kill with the Leo. Very nice. Now take 3v2. Now we're going to target the Theo, leaving the Clara for last. In the meantime, today is a Monday, September 18th. I've done a few tweaks to my defenses and some of my offenses. So you'll probably see those in a future Siege video. I'll probably change the runes on my Aaliyah as well whenever I pair her with Leo. Just so this team is ruined a bit more properly and a bit more safe. Alright, GG. For this next one, we're going to hit another Clara, Theo, and Savannah. We're coming into it with the Triple Revive team. I also went ahead and changed one of the runes on my Yunu. I think I put him on an attack slot two we'll see if that makes it a little bit better if it makes it a bit worse so the savannah gets a kill on the some math we use a skill two we don't cut luckily the deal goes for the ayunu and we popped in door he kills the ayunu now the clara is hitting the printer for a pretty decent amount we're gonna use skill two here killing the theo and now it's a 2v2 we're gonna work on the savannah with the perna killing the clara now it's a 2v1 and we should have this in the bag. I believe we still have the second revive on the Perna. And we're just going to kill the Savannah here. GG. For this next one, we're going to hit another Clara, Theo, and Savannah. We're coming into it with Feng Yan, Amelia, and Tyrannus. So one of my viewers actually recommended me a few new counters for this team. I'll probably build them in the future. Alright, so the Clara is going to use the skill 3. We get stunned up. Not looking good here. Okay, we avoid the defense breaks. The Theo is focusing on the Amelia as perfect as it can get. He kept proccing like crazy. We're going to use the skill 2. Alright, for now we're pretty safe. We're going to use the skill 2 on the Feng Yan just to have those heals rolling. I remember for this siege, I think I was playing Destiny 2. So I wasn't really fully paid attention at this point. So I tried to go for the stun onto the Theo. He's on Nemesis, interestingly enough. I'm honestly not sure what I was focusing here. I can't even remember what I was focusing because I think I was just hitting whatever. So I think at this point, I finally do focus the Savannah. Hopefully, yes. Okay. And we're going to start working onto the Savannah. We dismount her. Nice proc. We're going to kill the Savannah here. And now it's a 3v2. We should be really safe here. We're going to focus the Theo first and then leave the Clara for last. We didn't pop the Endure, but we are going to pop it with the Tyrannus getting the stun. While we're finishing this defense off, I just wanted to say if you guys have any counters or recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. I like to try to keep it fresh. I know I've been using the same things over and over again. It's been kind of hard to find new things to use. So I really look forward to using some of the recommended teams in the future. Alright, for this next one, we're going to hit this Clara, Bombay, and Azaria team. Very interesting team with Mimir Chilling and Chichlid. So... Let's see how this one goes. We're going to get out sped. The Mimir got stunned. We're going to use skill 2 here. At this point, I wasn't sure who to use the skill 3 on. Do I use it on the Bombay or do I use it on the Zarya? And going for the Zarya, it's a smarter play because she does have that AoE skill. The Bombay, I don't even think he can really reset. doesn't really matter because of his passive. So, he gets to sleep on the Mimir. Additional turn. The Mimir is gone. Now it's a 2v3. Can we still win this? Okay, we're going to try to kill the Zarya first. We almost kill her. Nice proc. Now it's a 2v2. That Bombay is going to hurt. Oh, he proc. Okay, we somehow survived that. Now we're going to go for the Bombay. Can we get the reset defense break onto him? Not like it's really going to matter. We just want the defense break. We do get the defense break. We're going to use a skill 2 here. Hopefully we can cut in and put the shield. Yes, we can. Okay, we're going to put the shield. He's going to hit the chitch lid. She survived. Can we wake him up? We need a proc here. Okay, 
the Chishids down. Now it's a 2v1. Nice. We kill the Bombay. Now it's a 1v1. This was a really sketchy match and a pretty interesting defense as well. Really nice to see the Bombay Azaria combo. Now, does the Chilling lose to the Clara here? No, he's not going to lose to the Clara, especially with those procs. We should be able to kill her, no problem. We're going to put the speed buff up. We get a proc and we cut in again for the win. Really interesting defense, GG. We're going to hit this Mi Ying, Nora, and Manon team. We're going to come into it with Galleon, Tiana, Poseidon. We shouldn't really have too much to worry about as long as we get those defense breaks and those pushbacks. I know a lot of people like to run a Swift Poseidon. I've just kept mine on Despair for, I don't know, like the past couple of years. Maybe I'll switch a set, but I like to stun. Can we get the defense breaks here? Yes, triple defense breaks here. Can we get the pushbacks here? Yes, we do. And we get the stun to Manon. That's why I like having him on Despair. All right, GG. For this next one, we're going to hit this Dio, Chichlet, and Perna. We're coming into it with Chad, Windy, and Lulu. It's pretty crazy that this offense works so well in the Snap 5 tower. As long as they don't focus the Lulu, we should be safe. Okay, she goes for the reset onto the Chad. We're going to get the stun here. Nice. And now we're going to put the immunity up, and we should be fine for a while. We're going to use the skill 2. We want to get rid of the Theo first. And then honestly, we can just skip the Chichlet and Perna. Nothing crazy should happen. We've almost procced the Endure of the Theo. Can we proc it right here? Yes, we do. And we get a stun. Perfect. Now she will put the shield on the Theo. We're going to do a little bit of damage to her. All right. She put the shield up. Now we got to wait for the tractor and Windy to take a turn. Nice. We get the attack bar. All right. We finished off the Theo. And without the Theo, we can skip this one. For this next one, we're going to hit this Chandra, Chichlid, and Perna. We're coming into it with Tessa, Nana, and Riley. We're going to try to Oblivion and kill the Perna first, if possible. If not, we're going to focus the Chichlid, and even if we have to, we'll go for the Chandra if we get a defense break. And that's all we have to hit. Okay, we're going to go for the Perna here. We kill the Perna. We get a stack. Really nice. We proc. Can we land the Oblivion? Yes, we do. So there's not going to be any heals on their side for a bit. Unless that Perna procs. Of course, she's going to proc. And now at this point, we're going to work onto the Chichlid here. Okay, she's not too tanky nice we get the defense break we're gonna put the attack buff and immunity on okay so she shielded herself making this one take a little bit longer we're gonna try to kill the perna if we can here okay Ooh, one hp we finished off the perna with the riley and since there's no threat i like to save you guys the time and skip this one now it's a 3v1 we finish off the chichlid for the win for this one we will be hitting a chandra chichlid and perna with a tractor windy and lulu this one is just going to take a very long time, but it should be really safe unless they kill the Lulu. We're going to speed this one up four times because it really does take a while. And the idea here was to kill the Chandra first, then the Perna, leaving the Chichas for last. The Perna did proc, bringing the Windy pretty low. So if you decide to run Tractor Windy Lulu into this defense, I would suggest bringing a lot of minus fire on the Windy. I think this was my second Windy, so he didn't really have that much minus fire. So while this is playing in the background, let's go ahead and talk about the big announcement from Jew Bagel. He said he plans on quitting Sumner's War, not right away, but a year from now when the 10th anniversary comes out. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think that means for Sumner's War? I know a lot of players haven't been really feeling the game, myself included. I feel like the game has been pretty stagnant as of late, even though they've introduced all this content. I just feel like they're not focusing on the right things. I think they should address us, the players, a bit better instead of just doing all these kind of random things. It's really nice to have these two ways. We definitely need a new two ways. They should have done this a long time ago. I don't know why they waited up until now. And in my opinion, hear me out, I find it really stupid that they created this abyss normal and hard when they could have just kept 11 and 12 and just increase the drop chances. It's like, I think it would have been better if they would have just kept 11 and 12, taking things like mana out of the loophole, increase the mana per run, which I know they increased it recently, but it's still a drop. And honestly, I think a lot of us can agree that they can just get rid of the flat attack, HP, and defense runes. They're pretty much no use to a lot of people. They should just get rid of those off the board, get rid of those grinds. That would take out so much from the loophole, making it a bit better. I also have another hot take in which 
I feel like they should get rid of all of the runes that are dropping in the new dungeon except for fight runes. Those are like the most usable ones. All the other ones are pretty useless or really niche. I just think that the whole content should be taken out. Same thing with seal runes, they're really useless. I think that the way that it's applied makes it pretty useless. As it acts as like a debuff and you can just throw it around or cleanse it off. I think it should be something like uh, what, like a Domen's scale 2 or scale 3 where you can't get rid of it. It's just something that's going to happen no matter what. I honestly have so many complaints about this game that I could just make a whole video on that topic alone. And it's something that I really want to do. I just want to make sure that it's put together really well. I don't know. If that's something you might be interested in, let me know. But yeah, sorry for the rant. Next up, we're going to hit this Harmonia, Kinky, and Roid. We're coming into it with Kali, Chloe, and Skullgold. The idea here is to put the invincibility up, throw the rock, and then snipe something with the Kali. And then the rock will come down, do the damage. You'll see how it works out. We're going to put the invincibility up, throw the rock. Okay, they're going to take their turns. Harmonia is going to go. The Roid is hitting the Skullgold. Now we're going to put the attack buff up on the Kali. And we're just going to wait. For the turn, the rock comes down. Harmonia is going for the skill 3, procking. We're going to save the heal for now since he has the immunity up and he won't get defense broken. Okay, the roid is hitting him though. Should have went for the heal. Now we're going to go ahead and snipe the roid. Nice, now it's a 3v2. Okay, the kinky is going for the skull. We're going to heal up now. And now we're going to focus the Harmonia. We're going to throw another rock up. Okay, this Kinky is proccing, almost killing the Kali. A little bit sketchy there. The Skogol gets slept. Can we get the invincibility off? Never mind, the Kinky kills the Kali. Now it's a 2v2. And this is going to take a little bit of time. Because we're going to have to wait for that rock to get back up. We're going to go ahead and heal up. Luckily, the Skogol is on a destroy set if it comes down to it. And he does have the Vampire for the heal. Okay, we almost kill the Harmonia. Do we kill here? Okay, thankfully we kill with the Chloe. Now it's a 2v1, and when the rock lands on him, we should be good. Now for the last attack of the siege, we're going to hit this Molong, Dominic, and Harmonia. We're coming into it with the double battle angel, snipe team, and the wind Madeline cookie. We're going to snipe two things, leave one thing alive. You usually leave the non-thread alive, so we're going to go for the Dominic and Molong, leaving the Harmonia last. All right, we get rid of the Molong, and now we're going to get rid of the Dominic. And now it's a 3v1, and we will have this in the bag. This was a really interesting siege because one of the guilds was going really hard as if we were in G3 siege. Let's go ahead and check out the contribution. We have Pierre at the top, followed by Maggie in second, then Destro, Dino, and me tied in third. Shout out to Pierre for the number one spot before the siege ended. We did end up losing the siege. Like I said, they were going ham on us for whatever reason. We also didn't get enough attacks in. And then we got Pure at the top, shout out to Pure, followed by Destro, and then a dude in third. Shout out to you guys. And then we have me in sixth place. My defenses have not been doing so well this season, unfortunately. I did revamp them a little bit, so maybe I'll be getting a little bit more contribution in the future. We'll see. Now let's see what we get from the trophy box. We get some crystals, not too bad, I guess. And then I do have one more thing. We're going to go ahead and see what we get from the lab box. Can we get something good, please? Okay, so far, nothing. We just get some crystals, and it was a crappy lab box. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We're almost at the monthly sub goal. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, I will be posting some polls. Don't forget to vote.